Hey guys, welcome to our temporary setup in our temporary apartment. Um, things are going to be a little bit wonky video wise uh, for a couple of weeks uh, until like the new year and then I guess until we get settled into wherever we're moving next. Um, but so if you see this tripod fully visible in frame, if the audio sounds a little weird, poor quality and echoey, that's because um, I forgot to pack the cable for my microphone and this is just what we're working with. So today's video is a November flip through and I haven't prepared this very much, which is the beauty of flip through videos, but I might have to either clip some stuff out or um, cover things up as we go along. But you'll see sort of what brought me through our move. Some of the stuff is in here, some of it is not. I'm also using like a digital calendar for a lot of the things that involve times. Um, this is like for tasks, mostly you'll see as we go through. I'm in still the Chic Sparrow Pocket Deluxe Outlander Wine uh, Traveler's Notebook. Uh, nothing has really changed in the setup because I don't have the stuff with me to be changing stuff. We are in a temporary apartment um, in the middle of a relocation for my husband's job. And um, so the bulk of everything we own is currently in storage and inaccessible to us. So we brought as much as we could. I brought my camera and this tripod and my ring light. <laughs> so we're going to make do. Um, uh, the first insert is stuff printed by me from stuff from my shop, ganshiplans.com slash shop. Um, I custom built this insert um, using the tools that I use to make the inserts themselves, you know. So uh, if you wanted something exactly like this, you'd have to contact me and I'd work out pricing with you. Um, but I would also make sure it wasn't wonky like this. But the reason is because this is um, ring size pocket inserts sized up a little bit to fit into these field note size inserts. Um, and so the top and bottom, like two pages, I cut down the middle and so the bottom copy has extra space on the bottom and the top copy has extra space on the top. Anyway, we've got monthlies in here. I started uh, using this in August, September, October. Now we're in November. Um, monthly Play With Me videos are available on my channel. I look at this every so often, like at least once a week, just to see what still needs to get done, if there's anything here that's important, anything here that I can work on that week. Um, and I have this printed out through January. I'm going to do my December Play With Me video maybe next, if the kids stay asleep. Um, and I think by the end of January I should have figured out what I want to do next, uh, but for now I'm sticking in this. Um, we're going to be in the temporary place through the end of December, I guess the first couple of days of January. But um, Then we have this future log, which probably not necessary since I have the monthlies printed out, but here they are. Then, yeah, I have to like cancel that dentist appointment. For example, this here is the school calendar. I had our old school's calendar in here, and I cut that out, like, you know, a little exacto knife, cut the pages out and taped in the new one. It was just taped in to begin with. I have the whole page folded in half because field notes are five and a half inches tall. So letter folded in half works perfectly. And then it's just kind of folded up. And so when I need to open it, I do, but I don't want to show it to you for privacy reasons. This is the extension of um, future log stuff. It's either stuff that doesn't fit on here or stuff that's next year. But it looks like a lot of these actually, all these rosary dates uh, were for an event at the old school, unfortunately. This is recurring tasks that happen on a sort of monthly, bi-monthly, tri-monthly, whatever basis. Um, and so I check back here once or twice a month to um, add things like to my monthly task list or a weekly task list. Um, and then I come back here to mark when it actually got done. So I'm filming this on the 14th. I actually just changed our razors this morning because I saw them in the shower as I was getting ready for the morning and thought, ah, I should do that right now, and I did. And then I had to come back here and remember to mark it off so that I knew the last time I did it. We do that once a month. And this is the same kind of thing, but for less regular tasks. And right now it's mostly used for car maintenance tasks, which are my husband's domain. So if I was worried about them getting done in a specific month, it would drive myself nuts. But this really is just a reminder of the last time he changed my oil and my brakes and stuff. Um, and so he will come to me and say, hey, did you write down when was the last time I changed your oil? And I'll say, oh, yes, it was in June. And I was at 113,000 miles. Um, this here is 
content stuff. Um, I'm not currently, in November, I'm not currently using this as my content calendar. I have moved everything digitally. And I'm sure I will do a video about how I'm using Asana for my content planning. Um, it's been really helpful. I've been able to do a lot of stuff from my phone, publishing more to Instagram, um, which has been helpful um, in having that the app there. Um, so I still have this here. I can use it. Maybe I'll use it for something else. But I have it printed out all the way, like I said, through January. Ooh, library books. I checked out some library books here at the new house and the new library system, and so I should write this down. Um, title goes here, and then the day you checked it out and the day it's due, and then when you renew it, you can put the new renewed dates and then an X one or a track or whatever when you return it. Um, between when I printed these in August, like I started back to work after the baby, it, August 1st. So I didn't have any library books that I was, we just didn't get a chance to get to the library. But now I'm a stay at home mom. We have been to the library and we checked out a bunch because we're living minimally and instead of bringing and packing a bunch of books, we just decided to move next to a library. I mean, not really. They picked the apartment for us, but it is next to a library, which is great. Some wish list stuff for myself. Um, and then these are birthdays and anniversaries, and I put the year that the thing happened. Um, so uh, that you don't have to reprint this and refill it out every year. I need to get better about filling in some extra dates here um, because there's plenty of room. I did have it like just immediate family, and I'm like, I can fill more. There's more room for more people there. Uh, people who I want to know when their birthday is. These are gift ideas for other people. And then the rest of this insert is all meal plans and grocery lists. So I have the current one, which I haven't really been checking off, but I did definitely use this. I needed to do some, um, we still have some leftover. Oh, I haven't gotten the stuff for that. I just finished the curry. So I use these circles when I use them for shelf stability. So I, I like to have some stuff on hand that's easy um, and that's shelf stable so that in a pinch, like for example, I just picked up some more groceries this morning. Nugs and fries are, when I say shelf stable, they're frozen, right? So like, as long as we still have power, which I'm not worried about, um, then we have dinner. <laughs> and so I would try to prioritize the things like this pesto skillet. I'm gonna make that tonight because I don't want the, um, the spinach to go bad. Um, I already did salt and pepper still some leftovers so I check off when I have the ingredients when I've made it and then when the leftovers are all gone so the curry is actually quite shelf stable too because it uses canned tomatoes and ultra pasteurized cream so uh, I was going to do this one this is an instant pot recipe that I like um, and then we're going to do this I'm going to say this is medium shelf stable because I got Brussels sprouts with it this is quite Good. The pesto lasts a good chunk. This is, uh, I brought pesto with us from our garden at home. Anyway, so that's how that works. And then this is the grocery list, which I really only use this side when I am shopping in store. I like to do a lot of pickup um, and that I'll just do straight into the app and not worry about it. I'll go like recipe by recipe. But if I'm going in store, I'll make a list like department by department. So I would put, I mean, this is all the shelf stuff because we needed to get stuff like jelly and sun butter and bread and you know we were running out of we threw away a lot of condiments and then we we're running out of stuff um but then i'd put like dairy here frozen here produce here that kind of thing um but then i didn't end up doing that i can walk to a grocery store from this apartment so i can't pack i can't buy too many things at once if i'm doing it with just like a stroller because there's not good storage in our stroller anyway like i said that's the rest of this insert is those meal planning inserts so that i always have enough the next insert is from Zequins. Uh, does it say here it is? Zequins. I can't tell in the viewfinder. I think you can see that. And it's just like a dot grid. Um, I use this for all of my weeklies and dailies. And this is how far I am so far since August. I think I should make it. Um, that's fine. This here. Oh. I need to, yeah, this isn't relevant anymore, but these were weekly tasks that I was doing. Unfortunately, this, the cover is kind of starting to peel a little bit, if you can see the glue kind of coming undone. Possibly because I was looking at this weekly reminders thing so much. Um, 
I guess I can show you flip throughs of which ones. I think this is where we did the last week's video. No, two weeks ago. Yeah, last week's video was the week's plan ahead thing. So you saw these as I set them up. So this is them after I've used them. Um, this was the last, last week of school. No, this is my last week of work. Um, I was, yeah, using these stripes. Did I plan this like on camera? I forget. We ended up, the, the kid got sick, so she missed that, but then we had, um, what was this? Oh, Healthy Choices Week, culminating in Trunk or Treat, which makes all of the sense in the world. This was the last week of school, so I was off work and packing. Um, they came and got some stuff. We had All Saints Day off of school, and the kids were actually great. Um, and then, yeah, the movers came and packed everything up this day and moved everything this day, and I ended up not having a lot to actually, is that right? Yeah, they, they packed everything, took everything, and then we moved ourselves on Saturday. So we were in a hotel that night. Um, I ended up not being super busy. You'll see all of that. If I get it edited in time, next week's video should be the, um, the moving vlog that I've been filming clips for. Then the first week in the new place, new school, we spent most of this day out of the house, a good chunk of this day out of the house, all of this day out of the house, and this entire day at SeaWorld. So I got some unpacking done on Sunday and Monday and then little bits here and there, but it actually got done because there wasn't that much we were bringing. Um, and then we had a busy weekend and all of these tasks have been migrated to the next week already. Here I am filming this on Monday. Um, and just a couple of notes here, some things I need to do this week. I think I'm definitely, is this the last week I have written out? Yeah, this is the last week I have drawn out. I'm gonna be doing things a little bit differently. I'm gonna to try to focus more on tasks rather than events in here, I think, because a lot of the events aren't gonna to be too much. Though I say that, next week's gonna be a weird week because it's off school for Thanksgiving. So maybe I will need a good space for tasks, but I'm thinking maybe tasks on half the page and then, or events on half the page, tasks on half the page. Anyway, I'm gonna try something else. Not film it, but I'll show you at some point. And um, I've been doing just really simple dailies like this. And I really like the flexibility to do really simple Bujo dailies. Um, today's goal is to do the diaper laundry and to fold all of the clothes that have been sitting on the couch for the last week or so. I have like two whole loads. And the washing machine here is massive. So there's a lot of laundry. But um, yeah, I am taking a break from that right now to film this video because I have both kids, the two younger ones who aren't in school right now, both kids are asleep at the same time. So thank you, thank you very much. We're getting through this. We will get through this. Uh, the next insert is also inserts that I've printed out from my own shop. Same way as the first one. Uh, we have this. Oh, man, I haven't looked at this front section in a while. I haven't looked at this whole insert in a while. This is supposed to be where I go when I need something to do. And a lot of this is obsolete because it was like projects for our old house, which are somebody else's problem soon. Um, I definitely don't have to worry about organizing our stuff because our stuff is not there. But I definitely do need to prioritize self-care because it's not going to prioritize itself now that I'm a stay-at-home mom. So um, this here is the 52 Weeks Future Log, insert 52 from the shop. And I use this to like assign a project for every week. Um, I do that when it's a busy time. Like I had this camping trip coming up and then two weeks later a birthday party and I'm like, okay, this is how we're going to, you know, focus on certain things every single week. I didn't do that here. It was pretty obvious that the last week we were in our house, I needed to pack. But um, yeah, I still have the space here and I can use it when I need to. I have some things coming up and I feel like I haven't had a good amount of time to sit down and just look at my planner. And I need to dedicate that, but I'm so tired by the end of the night. Uh, let's see, running to-do list. Oh, I did this actually did something off that running to-do list. I needed to get it done before we moved because I didn't want to pack my rotary cutter. And the babe started eating solids, so I had to put liners in his cloth diapers. Um, yes, yeah, so this is some 
some to-do items. I use this insert, which is from Peanuts Planner Co. It's called Goal Planning. I use it for small projects, um, so I can fit a bunch of small projects. Like, yeah. Then in the middle here, I think these are all the same insert over and over again. It's just like a checklist insert, but I have context, so home and away. So these are things, and I, I want to sit down and brain dump onto this page. All of the little things I'd like to like declutter some of the wardrobe before we move again, because all of the wardrobes, the girls' clothes, came with us, and they have too many shirts. So I'm going to declutter their clothes, I'm going to organize their socks, little things around here um, that I probably can do, you know, one a day um, on days when I'm hanging around the house. Um, so yeah, I need to declutter, or sorry, to bring up some more stuff onto here. Um, I can do this too. I found the gas station that is going to be my go-to gas station. I did this. So there you go. Um, and then over here is like errands to run. Oh, I had some groceries to pick up, so I just kind of jotted them there because I was there. This is where I organized my office. Um, I'm going to really blatantly poke so I can see when I'm looking later to find the link. I can, I can put an iCard here of my office tour. Um, I did an office tour and I posted it a couple weeks ago. This is at the old house. So I filmed it like mid-October before we started packing stuff up. It was beautiful. I really loved how lovely the uh, drawers were organized. And then um, it's gone. Um, everything is taken down and moved out and um, we will get a new system in a new place in a new house when we move there. Um, garden also gone. Um, oh, I think I may have just cut my losses. I had some clothes I wanted to like donate or like try to sell or donate to a specific, like give them away to someone who would specifically need them instead of just giving them to Goodwill. And I think, I don't know what happened to them. Uh, they might be in storage. I was hoping they would get given away. Anyway, some tasks after we move out kitchen. I don't remember what's going on here. Oh, you know, I do know because this was all stuff that we were waiting for our roommate to move out because the girls were going to get her room and we were going to reorganize the kitchen cupboards after she didn't have food in there anymore and all of this. None of this, after the, we organized the girls' room, I was going to move the toys out of the living room into the girls' room, but none of this is relevant anymore. Waiting on list, honey-do list. Uh, neither of those are important, but we still probably do need to do that. All right, craft projects. These are things that I, in theory, need to work on. There's one more uh, dress strap, I guess I'll say. That is in the trunk of my car so that the next time I visit my parents' house, I can remember to stitch it up. Though the last two times I visited, I didn't bother to get it out, but it is there. Um, I'm going to leave this for now. Um, some of these don't matter, but others, like, yeah, dining room blank wall. Like, I could probably still have that there. I'm probably going to need to decorate the new place. I'll, I'll reevaluate that later. This is my to watch list. Um, and, oh. Yeah, I did watch Ms. Marvel. It wasn't great. Then, oh, that's the end of that insert. Sorry, I'm taking a long time to get through this. I hope you like long videos, because here we are approaching 20 minutes in. This is a field notes, and I, there's a lot of confusion. It got resolved in comments. It's some kind of cherry, I think. I don't know. It's a wood cover. Um, this is a sort of a an index or table of contents for these project pages, but it doesn't have page numbers because I didn't want to number the pages. I'm going to check each one before I show it to you. Okay, yes, this is the girls' room. This is the project that I was going to move the girls into their own room. But by the time my roommate moved out, we were also moving out. So they never got to do that. So that's obsolete. Birthday party. Uh, that happened, and it worked well. And there's some extra birthday party pages. All right, this was some notes from a video I watched about organization stuff and gave me some good ideas, so I took notes. This is when we ferberized our baby. <laughs> um... Oh, there's some video ideas here and some insert ideas. Um, oh, this was the camping trip um, packing list, but I ended up moving that digitally and then printing out a list. And then these are some notes about pricing inserts. 
Um, more birthday party planning stuff. Basically, don't forget all this stuff. And I had like this system of multiple highlighters where it was like, it's in my cart, I've ordered it, I have it in hand, it's packed and ready to go. Um, getting progressively darker colored. That was just a thing. It kind of sort of worked. Oh, and more party stuff. This is the timeline of when people are arriving and when I should start cooking the food, that kind of stuff. Um, there's notes here from a parent meeting at our last school. Um, oh, some notes um, on my daughter's um, Halloween costume. She was Abby Cadabby. Then a couple of more notes about content stuff. Some notes about the different schools that she or we might want to send our daughter to. And some, oh, don't look at this. Some rewards, credit card numbers. Don't look at those. Um, oh, yeah, these are sort of some notes that I was brainstorming about the move before it happened. I think I was jotting in here during a pumping break at work. Um, oh, these were some things that I was, I was working on the garden at my parents' house. I'm like, I might need to get more romaine and more carrot seeds, but I had enough. So that's whatever. And then I got this was um, something that, what did she call her on, on Instagram? Gosh, what I forget what she's, it's that, that one Canadian mom who's always talking about um, like mental load and um, like being kind on yourself and lowering expectations and like being out of her. I, I think she's kind of inspirational. She said that you can focus, choose one thing to focus on every day. Peace, presence, of productivity. And sometimes you can squeeze in a second one, but you can never have all three. So I wrote that down. Maybe. It's, it's working okay. Um, but like today, they're napping, so I can be productive. Anyway, oh, this was a packing list for SeaWorld. I went to SeaWorld. My brother-in-law got tickets for free, and the rest is blank. So I've been trying to actually use this for things that aren't pretty. Um, it doesn't have to be like a major project to need a project page. And the fact that like I'm in here until January, so I might as well use it. Um, so it's, you know, scratch paper. It's a place to jot down whatever. Um, brain dumping. I'll, maybe I'll brain dump here and then move it to this, um, you know, get stuff done around the house page. My great things. Because I definitely feel like I'm due for a brain dump. Because um, I've just been so tired every night. Um, you guys want to see my daughter's school photo. So cute. And that's really it. I have been using this sporadically off and on. Um, there's just a lot of things to carry back and forth from the car. And so sometimes this gets left in the car in the diaper bag because I don't bring the diaper bag in every single time. Um, but it has been functional when it has been used. I've been focusing on function over form because for one thing, I didn't bring any washi tape with me. I brought like three highlighters and that's it. Um, so we're just, we're just doing it. <clears throat> Unfortunately, that's all I've got. And anyway, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you stuck around the whole time, don't forget to subscribe. I post videos every Thursday about my planner stuff and you will get to follow along with Saga of moving and figuring out how to become the person who is a stay-at-home mom. Hope you have a productive day and I'll see you in the next video next week. Bye.